Here's a total crypto market cap. Still hasn't broken all-time high. Altcoin's frustrating a lot of people. Rightfully so. If you open up a lot of altcoin charts, many of them still very far away from even getting close to all-time high. All the while, Bitcoin has broken its all-time high. So the question is, are altcoins going to make a move? Are, are we going to see an explosive altcoin season? Should it have happened already? If not, when is it supposed to happen? We've talked about this altcoin season for a while on this YouTube channel. Now, in this video, I want to actually break down an exact time frame for, if we look at history, when altcoin season likely will begin. And we're getting very close, and that's important to me as I look at the data because if it doesn't happen in this time range, that's going to raise an eyebrow for me. And now I really want to start tracking this. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's dive right into the data. This is total crypto market cap. I want to look at this from a couple different perspectives. I'm going to show you an exact time frame. We're going to look at the total crypto market cap and we're going to take the Bitcoin dominance data and we're going to combine some different pieces of data. I want to start here real briefly though, because this is, this is as this happens, as we approach this time frame that I'm going to show you, this range, you're going to start really seeing, because we're really getting here, everybody, from different data points, a lot of posts about altcoin season. Altcoin market cap continues to accumulate before the big boom, like in 2020. The 2024-2025 altcoin season will be epic, and you can just see, we are here, comparative to back here in 2020. Look at the similarities of exiting in the bear market, of consolidation before that yellow area, that's altcoin season. And we're in a very similar area right now. You zoom out on a chart like this, it becomes clear. Bitcoin dominance reaches peak up. If it keeps going up, it's bad for all coins, but it looks like weak. But it looks weak, like we are about to go down. All coin season is coming. You're going to see posts like this. And this is something that we've discussed on this channel. So, what I want to do is, I want to first start with the total crypto market cap. I want to give you just kind of a one, one timeline guide. And then we're going to look at Bitcoin dominance and we're going to combine the two. So here's the first one. It's very simple. And it's kind of based off of, you know, this picture, this illustration, very simple illustration to understand the cycles of crypto right now in this consolidation phase. But if you look exiting that last bear market, and we're even going to go two cycles ago, but exiting this last bear market, post Bitcoin having consolidation before altcoin season. What I wanted to point out was, Right around here, this move right here, this was right before Bitcoin broke its bull market doors. Altcoin started kind of making this move to the upside, or I should say total crypto market cap started making this move to the upside. This was 150 days or so after the Bitcoin halving. What's notable in, that, in just marking that time after the Bitcoin halving is this previous swing high being broken. That's what I'm looking at on this chart. And then if we go to the cycle before that, we had kind of something similar. This was around 140 days after the Bitcoin halving, Bitcoin or total crypto market cap making this move, breaking this previous swing high that occurred right before the Bitcoin halving. So 140 days, two cycles ago, making this powerful move, 154 days ago, uh, after Bitcoin halving last cycle. And now if we look at this cycle, here's this area that we're, that we're watching for to be broken. It's this swing high. Right, so we saw those swing high, these, these similar swing high broken in the previous two cycles. Now it's this swing high. The question is, will we get a similar break around 140, 150 some days after the Bitcoin halving? To give you a sense, if we extend this to 147 days, this first purple line, this is when this total crypto market cap, kind of like an average of the two last cycles, when it will break this swing high. Meaning if this consolidation is very much like the previous cycles before altcoin season, this swing high will be broken soon. And so that's the first data point, timeline data point that I have on this chart. It's that first purple line. Now this second line, and by the way, this is like a few weeks away. So just to give you a sense, the second piece of data is on the Bitcoin dominance chart. We just saw a, a post, I think they were referencing the lower highs on Bitcoin as it relates to kind of like this little swing high back here and kind of just this downtrend that Bitcoin has been in, something like that, lower highs. And this is what we've been talking about. Lower high Fibonacci retracements, meaning from a, you know 2017 before Bitcoin dominance fell and then to that swing low, we have this lower high Fibonacci that Bitcoin ran up to this green area out of 
this swing low into that green area, and then boom. This was altcoin season last cycle, right? Now, this cycle around, we have a very similar Fibonacci. It's that swing high to the swing low, back to this Fibonacci. And Bitcoin has really made its way up towards that area. We haven't hit it yet, right around 59%, but it is close. And now here we are again. We're kind of asking that question. Is Bitcoin dominance going to start falling? And are altcoins finally going to make their powerful move like they have done in previous cycles? One thing I just want to just say real, real fast, and I've been saying this, notice one thing. It's normal that altcoins haven't made their powerful move yet, right? It's historically hasn't happened just yet, but it's getting very close. So on the Bitcoin dominance chart, if we look at this, when did Bitcoin dominance start falling after the halvings? Well, in 2016 halving, it was around 220 some days after the Bitcoin halving where we see Bitcoin dominance start falling. And then in the 2020 halving, it was around 217 days or so after the Bitcoin halving. So right around 220 days, both times after Bitcoin halving, Bitcoin dominance started falling. Well, if we look at this chart and we can say, you know, let's just call it 200 days, right? This is right here, this purple line. And you can just see, we still have a ways to go until that area, but this is a general area now in the Bitcoin dominance chart. And we're getting very close. Look at Bitcoin dominance approaching this purple line. Historically, this is when Bitcoin dominance starts falling. So we take that purple line and we can go to the total crypto market cap and we can put it on this chart now. And we have these two, I think, really solid pieces of data. And there's so many different, you know, angles that we could look at this. There's other data that we can pull into altcoin season. These are just two very simple timeline perspectives based on previous cycles. And so what do we have? We have this first purple line based on uh, this crypto, the total crypto market cap chart and kind of breaking these previous swing highs after Bitcoin having. And then we have the Bitcoin dominance line that we just went, went over. So the time line, and this is the exact timeline, it's three to 11 weeks, basically is that, is that gap of time that we might look for, or that I am looking for, for altcoins to break out. And this could happen sooner, it could happen later, but generally speaking, based on historical data, this is the time frame, three to 11 weeks. So you can just see this first one based on the total crypto market cap data, and then the second one going up to around 200 some days. We're looking at around three to 11 weeks. And so the question is, will we get a repeat? Will the consistency be that on point this cycle around? I think there are a lot of factors and a lot of things that are absolutely kind of putting fear into these markets. And, and I would say making it hard for a lot of people to believe that, that crypto can go any higher. But there are so many data points at the same time. There are so many things happening whether it's on-chain data, whether it's all these different events that we've been discussing on this YouTube channel that suggest that crypto has so much upside, that it is all so undervalued right now, and that the timing is so good for a parabolic bull run. So we, we take all these things into consideration as we look at this very small time frame, three to 11 weeks, three to 11 weeks for altcoin season to begin and all we can do, all I can do as I track this, and that's all this is, everybody. I say it time and time again. I'm just tracking what I find interesting in terms of these cycles. I'm on this journey with y'all. I'm hoping things play out well, but there's no guarantees. You have to be prepared for just absolute capitulation. This doesn't happen. We don't get the bull cycle. We have to be prepared for that. But I can't help but just really look at this data the time frame data, the cycle data, on-chain data, macroeconomic data, things are happening with the US dollar, things that are happening, you know, in Congress, politics, and I just can't help but think things are really lined up for a potential parabolic bull run once again. So this helps kind of give a guide on time frame. So these are my thoughts today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? When do you think? If you don't think it's going to happen, let me know. I appreciate you cruising through. I really do. I appreciate your support. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe, turn notifications on, hit that like button. Hopefully we're all getting ready for a nice, nice year or so of a parabolic bull run for altcoin season. We'll see though. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.